Hey, thanks for joining us again on Celebrate Act 2. It's Art and John's weekly discussion about stuff. 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 What, what kind of stuff have you been doing lately, Art? Well, I, I had stuff dumped on me last week. Uh, and we've, this is not a new topic for us and for a lot of in our audience that uh, we're so dependent on all these new doodads, uh, cell phones and computers and things like that. And mm -hmm. certainly our audience uses them a lot. And yeah. you and I get zinged every so often by yep. something that happens to, with with the our connection to the world, whether it be uh, our cell phone, we're at a... Uh, 5G or 3X or whatever range. Uh, <laughs> yes. And uh, we also have talked about, you know, things go wrong. Who fixes it except for lots of money and lots of time? So we yeah, wind up, lots of money. Yeah, we it wind up being cheap. our own IT manager, which uh, sucks a lot, even though we're fairly, and maybe me a little bit more than you technically. But last week what happened was, uh, and I don't want to, um, don't want to rag on Cox because they're, they've actually done some pretty good, uh, uh, I've had great service for them for the last 12 or 15 years. Not so good about 20 years ago, but they really get good service. But here, they, you know, my contract was up for my internet service, so they wanted to renew it at a higher price, and they gave me a special deal, and everything was fine. And uh, they offered to give me a new modem, uh, which means that everything in the house would work better and cleaner and this and that. And... Right. Um, uh, then they wound up, you know, just because they don't, they don't think ahead. So they wound up saying, you know what, we'll even give you a new modem. <laughs> and so I'm great. And I went down for, and I swapped for the how much more? No, they, they just every three years will give you, you know, new equipment. It'll work better for longer. And great, you know, because I have this, you know, full service thing with them because we use Cox or the internet for ninety eight percent of. Uh, our interviews. I mean, this right. is our livelihood. So sure. I'm, I said, I'm on Cox Cable. Yeah. 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 And I have I have a local Cox store within four miles of the house. So I went down there with pictures of my modem because I didn't want my service cut off. And I went down to them and they said, sure, here, we'll give you one. And and you have 10 days to bring the old one in and everything will be fine. I said, great. I said, uh, you know, but don't cut me off because I may not do this till, you know, two or three days later. And uh, they said, no problem. And then as I'm walking out, they said, you know, we better deal. We have an in-store deal. Great. We have an in-store deal that will actually be less expensive for you. And they, they went through the whole thing. And you only have to commit for 12 months. And it was going to be like not $20 more than my old bill, but it was going to be like $15 less because they had a promotion. Okay. So they gave me the thing. I came home. And then Linda says to me, what happened to the Internet? So what do you mean? What happened to the internet? I got a new modem. We're gonna. I was gonna swap it in fresh. She said, no, we don't have any internet. And uh, sure enough, we had no internet. So I guess part of this promotion, as I find out later, was that when they give you this new promotion, they immediately switch it over. But they, but that means that you don't have internet. So right. uh, by the way, for mm -hmm. all the people who bash Cox, and I used to be one of them, but not recently, uh, I got this person who. It was hard to understand. I assumed that she was in a, a shop overseas, but she was really, really knew her stuff. It still took yeah. an hour to get everything set up and get my old usernames yeah. and passwords. And then they still didn't work out. I had to go around and set up all the different communications. But you've had the problem. I know that you had some service issues with Apple, which are excellent yeah. products. And you, you, yeah. you were out of business for a couple of weeks, I remember, at one point. Yeah, you can't, look, you can't win. Let's face it, the older generation, that's us, by the way, in case somebody didn't notice. Yeah, and, and the fact that and we I'm, have wisdom, the wisdom happens to be in different areas than for most of us than IT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the reality is we're, we're beholden to these tech companies, whether right. it's Cox Cable or Warner Cable or... Apple or somebody, you know, we're beholden to them. We we are, you know, they used to make fun of the old people who uh, uh, who couldn't use a computer, and then and and we would make fun of our kids who were walking around with a cell phone in their face all the time, right? Well, now we're walking around with cell phones in our faces, and you can't make fun of us for not knowing the computers. 
we're stuck on them all day long. And we don't have our kids living at home anymore for most of us who know this stuff. Oh, yeah, easy fix. And then it's all fixed. Okay. Yeah. And if you call the Geek Squad or one of those places, it could be uh, hours, if not days, before they show up. So we're really, really stuck. And then we're out of business in many cases. Yeah, well, look, we we are. This is our umbilical cord, the electronics in our life, and uh, these companies they keep raising the prices. You know, it's it's for seniors. That's a difficult thing, but that's the world we live in. We're we're this is this is the stuff. It's like having a car. You can't have you can't live in this country without a car. You can't live in this country without a cell phone. Your computer, one half of your computer, and then a, a cable, some kind of cable internet connection. You know. All right. Well, don't so, look, by the way, you, you bring up a good point, John, because I know that you far more than me, and I knew a lot more about cars because you used to produce a lot of things about cars in your lifetime. Uh, right. And uh, but you can't even fix a car today. You you can barely diagnose a car other than say I seem yeah. to remember that if that wasn't working, it was probably that. But it could just be a little chip that has to get reprogrammed. Yeah. yeah. Years ago, now this is that's been the true. That's been true for thirty years. Yeah. And about twenty or maybe even thirty years ago, my daughter bought a Jeep, mm-hmm. and uh, it was doing great. And she took it to the local mechanic, and of course, even at that time, they had the computers. You plug it into the computer. Mm-hmm. And it analyzes it and tells you what the engine's doing and what it's doing wrong. Well, this local mechanic didn't have the Jeep computer. This local mechanic had the aftermarket fits every brand of right. car computer. And he he his analysis was, well, you've burnt out the bearings and you're gonna have to get a new engine. We put in a new engine wow. in her Jeep. And don't you know, within a year. We had the same problem. We took it to a Jeep dealer, and the Jeep dealer had the con- electronic machine, the analysis machine, made by Jeep for Jeeps. They looked at it and they said, "No, no, you don't need a new engine. You need a, I don't know what." And they changed the component, and off we went. So the electronics are not always compatible with every brand, everything. That's that's part of the problem, I think, that we're dealing with today. So we're so dependent on other experts, okay, yeah. for everything that yeah. uh, you can't even just Google it and say, what is it? Oh, you just need a bearings? No, you need a review mirror. I mean, yeah. it's, it's not that simple anymore. And uh, it used to be so. It is frustrating. And uh, I don't know that we have any answers here other than to say, you know what? Every so often, it's just going to bite you in the butt. And it's part of what we got to do, but uh, uh, it's it, it's one of the hazards of having to depend on so many people for other things. And 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 these companies just don't think ahead to say aftermarket. How do we really take care of our customers? And I have to say that uh, companies like Apple, uh, for all the people want to fault them for being expensive and this and that and everything else, you walk into an Apple store. Now you need an appointment because there are so many people who are going there. And you go to the expert bar, and somebody's going to probably tell you the right thing about what has to happen to fix this thing within a very short period of time. Because they figured out that that people will run into problems with with devices, and they can, whether it costs you or not, it doesn't really matter. They're going to help you get back and going pretty quickly. So very, well, few, yeah. very few companies I find are that good and that thoughtful on building products that make it easy to maintain after you've had it for a while. All right, Art, this this is an element that has never changed. And that is when you find a good repairman, whatever the subject is, whether it's cars or mm. doorways or railings or stairs or electronics, you got to find a good repairman that you can trust. You keep their number and share it with your friends. Right. And by the way, if anybody needs a great auto mechanic in uh, uh, Southern California, in the Mission Viejo area, I've got such a person. Yeah. Good. Good. All right, everybody, stay healthy and 
Stay off the computer, for God's sakes. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.